Hey guys, it's Chris. From chocolate that is banned because of a prize inside to ones that look a little too much like medicine and more. Join me as I reveal nine banned candies. Number nine, candy cigarettes. The history of cigarettes in the world is a very interesting thing, not the least of which was that for a long, long time they were advertised on TV and sponsors of certain things despite the fact that nicotine and other chemicals in cigarettes were leading to cancer and various other illnesses in the users. So imagine the horror that many had when candy cigarettes came to be. Not only was this tactless given what was happening to adults, but it was basically enticing kids to prepare for adulthood by having these candy cigarettes in their mouths, as well as them pretending to be cool because they were smoking as a kid. The debate of whether to get rid of them has been a topic for the world at large for a long time. Eventually, numerous countries decided to ban them because the marketing strategies for regular and candy cigarettes were basically the same, and many didn't want children thinking they were getting real cigarettes and not the candy ones. Ironically enough, in the United States, candy cigarettes are not only still on sale, but they've beaten government bills to try and ban them. There were even false reports stating that they were banned in the United States when clearly that wasn't true. However, in countries like Australia, France, Finland, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, and more, you'll not find these candy cigarettes, which many would say is for the best. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 8. Moam Candy If you were to look at the candy that is Moam Candy, you likely wouldn't see anything wrong nor would you taste anything wrong, nor would you find anything that was harmful to children later on and so on and so forth. And yet the Moam candy brand made by Haribo, which have repeatedly gotten in trouble for their candies, has a reputation that isn't stellar. But how could that be if the candy is fine? In this case, it's perfectly fair to judge the book by its cover. When Haribo made the Moam candy boxes and such, they, like many before them, decided they needed to have bright and colorful characters on it to lure kids in. Again, like many companies of various media have done before, visuals are everything in many cases. But for Haribo, the art that they put on the Moam candies were incredibly suggestive. Granted, the kids likely didn't get the joke, but the parents most certainly did. Basically, the characters were put in positions that looked like they were having intercourse. What's more, it wasn't just one image that projected this. It was a slew of them featuring various fruits in various positions that did not make parents happy. At first, the UK candy was kept the same, but as tensions rose, they eventually changed the art to feature singular characters doing things like riding skateboards and not having any two of them together. This is not something you would expect from a candy brand, and yet it actually happened. Number seven, Kinder Surprise Chocolate Eggs. This illegal food might make you scratch your head in many ways, because the idea of a chocolate egg being banned in the US is a bit odd given the country's love for chocolate and Easter. But this is a specific kind of chocolate egg. All around the world, there's a chocolate treat called the Kinder Surprise Chocolate Eggs, and they're consumed by many without much issue. So what makes these eggs so bad? It's because there really is a surprise in the form of a toy. The US has banned these eggs because the toys are so small that if the child eating it isn't aware of the toy inside, they can swallow it and then choke on it, which is a major no-no, especially in today's day and age. The US has been very stalwart in their banning of these eggs, despite the fact that the rest of the world seems to love them, and about three and a half billion of them are sold each year. Weirdly, Kinder has made a different version of the eggs called the Joy Egg, and it doesn't contain the toy inside and thus will be allowed in the US. But every time it tries to bring the Kinder Surprise chocolate eggs into the country, it's made with fierce resistance and recalls. Number six, Smarties. What? Yeah, I know. I'm sure that some of you are gonna be super surprised by this one. I know I was, mainly because if you go into various stores across the United States and beyond, you'll likely find a bag of Smarties you can just get. The ban on these candies are very specific. Mainly, they're ones that are banned in certain school districts, one in Oregon and one in Michigan. So why the specific bans in those particular areas? Well, that would be because of the students. They had a brilliant idea that they could not just eat Smarties, but they could snort them. No, truly, they would go back into areas like the bathrooms of the schools, crush up the Smarties, and then snort them like cocaine, likely because of the rush it gave them, or imagined rush. What were these kids thinking? Why do they have so much free time? 
And the problems with doing this are numerous for all sorts of reasons, not the least of which is that it can cause problems with your brain, your lungs, including giving you asthma, and in one particular case, if you don't grind it up fine enough, you could literally have maggots growing in your nose. So in short, if you're gonna have Smarties, make sure you eat them, not inhale them. It should also be noted that there's a ban on the name Smarties because the company that owns that title is in Canada, and thus brands using that name had to change it to Rockets. Number 5. Haribo Sugar-Free Gummy Bears To be very clear here, I'm not saying that Haribo gummy bears are banned. We're talking specifically about the sugar-free gummy bears that were made by the company once upon a time. In short, they thought it was sad that people who didn't want a lot of sugar couldn't eat gummy bears, so they designed the sugar-free version to help that group out. On the surface, that seems perfectly fine, and kind of easy to accomplish. All you would need is to switch out the sugar in the bears for something that wasn't sugar, which in this case was lycacin. Lycacin's main ingredient is maltita. Maltita is what's known as a sugar alcohol, and it's a very good replacement for table sugar. It's almost as sweet, and forms granular crystals, and even dissolves in water like sucrose. So that sounds perfectly fine, right? Well, no, because a byproduct or side effect of having Maltita in your gummy bears is that it's known to get into your intestinal tract and mess you up big time. It'll cause cramping, it'll cause you to pass gas in an extended way, and worst of all, it'll give you a really bad case of diarrhea. The crap storm that it's caused gave Haribo a black eye, and thus they removed it from the market so that people couldn't keep getting the runs, among other things. But again, the original and true Haribo gummy bears, well, they're just fine to eat. Number 4. Candy Hearts During Valentine's Day, there are very few things that are as iconic as the candies that you would give to a crush, girlfriend, partner, and of course a spouse. From heart-shaped chocolates to candy flowers, and most iconic of all, the candy hearts that have messages like I love you, hug me, you're sweet, and more. On the surface, this all seems fine, but for one Connecticut school, they decided it wasn't as good as advertised. Mainly, the school wanted parents to help ensure that students weren't eating unhealthy foods on Valentine's Day, which included candy hearts, among other things. We are asking for parents and guardians to be sure that food products of any kind are not a part of your child's Valentine's Day card. Principal Megan Massey wrote to moms and dads, We're working to encourage healthy practices as well as manage food choices in classrooms where food allergies are present in order to maintain a safe environment. This is a very serious way of maintaining order, and other schools have apparently tried to jump into the act as well. But what do you think? I'm not so sure if this is one of the biggest nutritional issues schools are having. Have you seen school lunches these days? Number 3. Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge Chew Bars Hearing the name Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge Chew Bars isn't just a mouthful to say, it's something that doesn't give you confidence in the gee, I wonder if this is gonna taste good department. Granted, many companies try for unique names, and the company behind this chew bar was no different. Their original candy, Toxic Waste, was kind of a sour candy like Warheads, also not the best name for the record. After doing well, they decided to go and make chew bars, which is exactly what they did. The problem, though, came in the fact that the brand had a serious problem with lead. Yes, when examined by the FDA, it was found that trace amounts of lead were in the toxic waste nuclear sludge chew bars. Lead can be very useful, but in the human body, it's incredibly toxic. And considering that this was advertised for kids, well, that could be downright lethal. Naturally, the brand was recalled to help ensure that no one got poisoned. Number 2. Hippie Slippy the 60s were very much an age of experimentation, and as many like to note, the age of hippies, which on the surface was fine, because the hippies did bring a message of peace and love and tried to stop wars with that message. However, hippies were also known for excessive drug use, and this meant that no one would really take them super seriously. But what's most shocking of all is that to kind of bank on this trend of hippies, a candy bar was made called Hippie Sippy. In terms of function, it honestly wasn't too different from other candies that we have today. Mainly, you bite into one end of the candy, and you sip the contents. Very simple, very easy to make, and very tasty. The problem? Well, due to its desire to match the hippie trend, the hippie sippy was shaped like a heroin needle, for real. Obviously, when this came to light, people were not happy. And after public outcry, the candy was removed from store shelves. You can consider this a time where the shape of candy, if you will, was more important than the actual contents. Number 1. Lollipipe There are times when you can't help but wonder, what were they thinking? And one of those times was the creation of the lollipipe. The notion of this candy is exactly what you think it is. It's a hard candy that's been shaped like a pipe. 
What might surprise you, though, is that this isn't a creation from the 50s, the 60s, or the 70s. It was something made at the turn of this new millennium. Why? Well, because candy creators felt they needed to be more edgy in order to get people to try their stuff. So what better way than to go and make a candy that looks like a pipe? Some people even took this to the next level and tried to smoke out of the pipe because it had the shape and such. Needless to say, this wasn't a major success and was continued later on. You can technically still buy it, but it's a candy product that is best left forgotten for numerous reasons. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this look at banned candies? Have you ever tried any of them? Which of these were you most surprised by? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to Worldlist, and I'll see you next time on the channel.